welcome back. Today I want to show you some add-ons and how to configure them so you can quickly and easily see when gear is an upgrade for you. You might already know about an add-on called Pawn. In fact, you might already be using it in its default settings. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to tailor the add-on specifically for you. Not just your class and eye level, but for your actual character in its current state. All of the add-ons and websites we're going to use have links in the description. So pause this video and go and get those add-ons installed now if you haven't already got them and have the web pages from the description open and ready in your web browser. Ok then here we go, the first thing you're going to have to do is log into the character you want to do this for, and then type forward slash simc all one word. This will bring up all the information about your character setup and the gear in a format that can be used by a simulator. Hit Ctrl C and copy this block of text. Next we're going to need a simulator. You can go to simulationcraft.org and download a simulator, but I've recently discovered an easier way to do it with an online site which I'll show you now. So head over to raidbots.com, click on the stat weights, and then in the box for option B, click the grey area and press Ctrl V to paste the text block you copied earlier. Hit the browser notification box if you want, and then click generate stat weights. If there's a queue, you can wait for your browser pop-up to tell you when it's ready, or twiddle your thumbs for a while. You can also repeat this process for other specs for your character while you're waiting. Once it's done, it will open a page with your stat weights on it. Click on the grey box called Pawn Strings, and then press Ctrl C again. Now you're going to head back to the game and press C to bring up your character tab. Below your trinkets will be a new box with Pawn written on it. Click that, and then click on the Scales tab at the bottom. Set it to Manual via the big button at the bottom, then click the red Import button and press Ctrl V to paste your stat weights in. OK that, and then you'll see on the left hand side your profile has been added to the list. When you click on these you'll see you have an option that says Show this scale in tooltips. Uncheck this box for all the ones that you didn't just create, so you're left with just the important ones. You can also change the colour of these in the tooltip via the little colour box, which is very useful if you're using multiple specs on that character. Before you shut this all down, head over to the Options page. I think mine is set to default, but if you have anything different from what you see here, quickly change them now. OK, cool, that's all the hard work done. It may have taken you a little time to set up, but it will save you a lot more time and heartache when it comes to choosing your loot. As you can see, I now have a piece of upgrade gear, which I've just bought for 5,000 shards from the vendor here in Broken Shore. If you want to know the best way to farm these shards, I've been testing out various methods and will be making a video on this next, so hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out. This gear is eye level 880, and as you can see clearly in my bag it has a big green arrow on it, indicating that it's an upgrade. When I hover over it and take a look at the tooltip, at the bottom there are all three of my specs, and it shows you how big of an upgrade the item is. You also get this info on quest loot, which is very handy when deciding which is the better item to accept. It will also show a coin icon on the highest scrap value if neither of the quest rewards is an upgrade for you. So there you go, making loot decisions just got a whole lot easier. I recommend that you repeat this process fairly regularly as your overall eye level increases. Stat weights do change as you get stronger. For example on balanced druids there are haste caps which will change stat priorities once you meet them. Personally I do this every 10 eye levels or so, but you also need to do it if you make major changes to your talents, artifact traits, or if you get a legendary. If you're not that bothered about being the best you can be, there are generic stat weights posted on the Noxic and Icy Veins websites. I hope this video helps, if you liked it hit like, if you want to see more hit subscribe, and if you have any questions or there are any other add-ons you would like me to talk about, let me know in the comments. As always, good luck and have fun.